Hello, this is Al Rogers. In this video, I'm going to show how SMath handles uh, graphs in the aspect of how they, uh, how you can zoom in on important parts. The window can be resized, so I can click on the graph and I can find a handle, like right here, and then I, I'm not going to change it very much, but I'll just because I've got a Snagit window around it. But you can see how with that handle I can I can move it around. And here's another handle right here so I can change the size of the window. Now this the graph itself conceptually is like an infinite screen and so this window you can grab like right now I'm gonna hold down and, and grab and see how I can move the uh, part that I'm viewing around. And this is very convenient. Like if I was way over here and I wanted to look over here and I say, oh, there's an interesting point. By the way, I'm plotting x and x squared. And you can put multiple functions on the same graph very easily. And so this shows how a straight line and a parabola intersect at the point 1, 1. And I can zoom in on that by rolling the mouse wheel forward until I get you know as much uh, accuracy as I want. You see right here is the line 1 and here's the line 1 right here and I can uh, go back to a normal view. So I've what the I'm ro rolling the mouse wheel now after I've selected the graph. If I select outside of the graph then I can move up and down like that. I won't go very far because I don't want to move it out of the Snagit window. Now if I click here I can zoom on the x-axis. This is the x-axis and notice right now that it goes from 0 to 3 and now it's going from 0 to 4. So I've zoomed on that axis. So I can zoom on the x-axis independently. See how it's flattening the curve like that? Or uh, and I was holding the shift key down and rolling the mouse wheel to do that. Or I can hold the control key down and then I can zoom on the y-axis. See now it goes from 0 to 1.75 and now I'm zooming in so that it only goes from 0 to 1. I can zoom out so that it goes from 0 to uh, say 2. And then I can go back and, and uh, I can grab the graph and move it around. And here I'm zooming it and here I can grab it. And uh, Actually, what I'm doing there, uh, I want to focus on it and then grab a portion of it here is what I wanted to do. The other thing I was somehow grabbing the graph and moving it around on the screen. But what I want to do is to look through the window. Anyway, I think you get the idea. I've kind of fallen apart here at the end. I hope the first part was useful. See, I, I can grab it and move it around. That's what I wanted to show you. Okay.